just about okay look just want to talk to you a little look today is my birthday that's right it's a life day celebration today and the rest of the year to next year that's how it goes you know that's right I've been on it I've been on this planet 65 years today ain't that amazing that's what they tell me I don't believe in this let's start swimming as you may or may not know I'm a Henry Dumas denizen. Now, <clears throat> I got this thing, Henry Dumas. You know, he's a poet and a writer. And you can look him up. Henry Dumas, D U M A S. They say Dumas, you know what it is. But he had this, one of his poems, uh, sometimes he had a thing called Thoughts. Now, here's a thought he, he had it says, One of the greatest roles ever created by Western man has been the role of Negro. Then the next stanza, the last stanza, it goes, one of, I meant first, what can I say? One of the greatest actors to play the role has been the nigger. That's what Henry Dumas said. You know, he passed in the world, he was shot, 1968 by a transit. But he said it back then. Now, let's look at this for a second. You know, this is my birthday. Why, why, why? I have to make one little just slight adjustment. See, to me, words are just sounds, words, or whatever it is. Now, they are what they call a, a cuss words, or bad words. Now, it, the way I work is that, um, <clears throat> well, you see, uh, I don't curse at all or use those bad words at all. But one day a year, I can, and that would be this day. So, you, you, the whole, okay, anyway, let me look at the word nigga in the, in the dictionary. In the dictionary. Right here is one of, and there's the Western Dictionary. See, Oxford guy. It's the old one, so you don't stand. So it's very recognizable. Here, here it is. We're a nigger. Uh, it's a noun. It's a slang. And they don't have no origins for it. Anyway. It's, it's they say it's a very offensive word for a black person. They don't really give a definition for nigger. It's just an offensive word. That's interesting. You know why that's interesting? Because if you take no offense of it, since there's no definition for it, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just, uh, there's no, you see what I mean? So it's really not a curse, even though it's a lot of people it is. That's kind of strange. So what does it mean that niggardly? And they have a definition for that. I'm not going to go into it. You look it up yourself in the dictionary. It basically means that, well, you acting stupid or something like that. Well, wait a second, but there's no definition for it. So whatever you do as a nigga is what you do. But let's not get hooked up on that. Let's put it this way. If you accept things, then I hope that's what will happen. If you accept that, if they call you that and you accept that, well, that's, that's on you. Once, let me just end it here. I'm going to be short today because my birthday, I got things to do. I was in, uh, when I was in the Air Force, uh, I, went, uh, I think I told the story before, but Daniel Chappie James, who was the uh, first, uh, you know, uh, uh, general or whatever in the Air Force, right? Uh, he, uh, he was at the uh, Colorado Springs, at the academy there. And I happened to be there, this is like 1972, 73, somewhere like that. And he called a lot of us black folks together, right? And, uh, and he said, uh, look, what I want to do when I retire, is I want to go to Africa and train, train Africans how to be an Air Force. I thought that was pretty heavy. That was really heavy. Another thing he said, maybe it was Benjamin Davis said this, but one of them said this, if somebody calls you a nigga, what you do is you just ignore them, because you have your own agenda, they have their agenda. But if you don't want to fight with them and get into that, that hamster wheel of See? So that's my message on my life day to day, is you don't have to do what they want you to do. You don't have to play the role that they created for you. What you do is you do what you need to do. And what I need to do is be the best person I can possibly be. In other words, I challenge myself. I'm not going, no, I'm not going after somebody else and fighting with somebody else. I'm trying to continue to be the best and dig deep into who I am. And that's what I do. Anyway, 
I'm going to end with this little prayer. If you don't mind, pray on my birthday. Oh, great mystery, the force in us all that guides us along. Give me strength, perseverance, and knowledge for the coming year and beyond so that I may do the bidding of those who are righteous. And this I pray in all your manifestations here on Mother Earth, from Horace through Jesus Christ and beyond. Praise the Lord for you.